Yeah. It says record. Okay, so this is how you draw. You need your pens. So I got the rapido graph to draw the outlines, the regular pilot pen to general use, and then the filler pigment pen. What, what kind of animal do you and this is a, a draw? A bay. And if you have a cat around, like this guy right here, that is always helpful. Because he can. Yeah. Throw right. All right, and then here you have the the maze, and you just you know it's a tedious process, and you just uh, fill in fill in. I drew the outline already with the with pedograph a minute ago, um, and then you just yeah you fill this in. And this is going to be a maze of the letter B for the Learn to Amaze series. You see a letter in there? B. Yeah. Where's there a letter? Right, exactly. It's just a maze. It's just a maze. It's people, amazing what people will see. People will tell yeah. themselves they see shapes and letters inside of it. I don't know where that comes from. So, in the letter C, will the question be, do you see the maze? Hey, oh, ooh, ooh, pum pum. Gotta make sure you blot it out completely. Yeah. This is the backwards B. Filmed at this other angle. The psychedelic handiwork of a maze artist. And then I'll go in afterwards with the pilot and fill in all these little white dots and you know just make sure it's a nice solid color. And do you use rapidographs for a particular reason? Well, I use the rapidograph for making the, the outlying lines. I use The reason is this line, when you put this down to the pen, when I put this pen down to the paper for the first time, it puts dot. And I'd rather have a, nine, a nice line. So it, it, this is dot matrix technology? So I guess you could say so. It's dot-oriented technology. And so I use this pen for up to the line and filling the smaller parts where I don't want the big marker because it might go out of the lines frequently does. This technology is not available on daisy wheel printers, where it prints only letters and characters and numbers. <laughs> By the way, you could not do this with a daisy wheel. Probably not. Computers really can't do this type of fine work. This is why I draw it in this, and then I scan it in. I'm drawing it with the intention of, of scanning it in. Keep in mind, when I scan it in, the white will bounce up, will be a lot brighter. And we're, we're running out of time, but can you show us the letter A? Uh, yeah, so the, well, I already put that one away, but... Uh, put the A away? Put the A away, but as you can see, I already scanned it in and it's on the that, is, that is an A. Well, this is just a me. Some people have convinced themselves that the letter A appears in there. Do you, does anyone see an A there? I see, if I turn it upside down, I see a V. There you go, see, it's... None There's of that. definitely a V in there. None of that exists here. All right. And now we're done with those lines there. Okay. And now and now I start making the further lines, the, the next lines, using the repeat graph. And how do you uh, get rid of the lines? The pencil lines? The pencil lines. Well, after I'm done drawing this, I'm going to erase the pencil away. You don't feed them to your cat? I've tried. Your cat does not eat the lines. Let's see when I do the rapidograph, and then I, I thicken up the border of the rapidograph, so this way when I go over with the marker, I don't have to go right up to the line. And I, I'll kind of do this to a bunch of segments, and then go in, you know, when I have a few minutes worth of filling set up, I'll go ahead and, and, and fill it in with the pigment pen.